Hi everyone. So I have a, I think it's 10 inches. If we go point to point, it's 12, but this way it's 10. Um, hexagon. I got just a little bit of house uh, milk paint left, so I want to use it up so I can mix a new batch. Um, if you stay tuned, I can actually mix it at the end of this painting. So let's start with the Galaxy Blue. These are our Parage Posse paints. I'm going to put the Chestnut Bronze right next to that. And then the Parage Posse Purple. I'll add a little milk paint. And tip that on its side so it won't be so hard to pour it out. Finish up this blue. Galaxy Blue. Chestnut Bronze. Parage Posse Purple. And the end of the milk. I love to use things up. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do a, a quick ring pour. You'll find with the milk paint, it, it loves to sink to the bottom. And then you end up getting it out last, which you know you didn't put it in there first, right? <laughs> Let me um, torch that real quick. I'm just going to stretch this out. I have a base down, so it has to move. I like it right there. I like it off centered. Let me just bring this down just a smidge. I am going to pull it back up. So I need to touch up my edge here where I have no paint. Good over here. <laughs> okay. Let me put it here. Let me give it a torch. I still think I want to bring it back some more. I'm going to bring it this way some more. I want to open up that Parage Purple. Alright, one more torch and we'll let it set 10 minutes. And see what develops. We'll be back in 10. Okay, I'm back. Not a lot of change, which is good. We filled up here with the cloud effect. Um, it is starting to a little bit in here. Um, and of course, on our edges, we have it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off and give you a close up. And um, we will mix the cloud paint. If you want to hang out with me, we'll mix it after I put this away. So you can see how that cloud effect just poofs up, but I probably had uh, my paint just a little bit too thick, so I didn't get that, and it's a smaller canvas. I have better luck with a big canvas on these cloud pours. So let me get this cleaned up, and we will mix the cloud paint together. We'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back and I have my little container. I already shook the cloud paint, so I'm going to go ahead and pour that in and I'll show you the bottle. So it says there's 6.8 fluid ounces in here. These you can get at Michael's Hobby Lobby. I'm um, not sure if Joanne's Fabrics carries it. Um, AC Moore, I'm not sure either. I haven't looked. Um, but I do have this in my Amazon shop when it's not sold out. So just letting you know that. So once I get that cloud, that milk paint in there, I put half of that amount and I use Liquitex pouring medium. It's a little expensive but it's uh, it works really well to get the cloud effect and you can tell from my videos how well that works. So I put that in there and I do give it a shake because I want to get all that paint out of that bottle. And I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. So that was half a bottle of the Liquitex pouring medium. Some people are using glue, and you can do that too. So then, I'm going to put two bottles of Floetrol. Hard for me to see in there. Oops, I made a mess. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> This is not liquid gold to me, so. <laughs> liquid text pouring medium, yes. Now we strain it because you will get some bits in there. And that'll make up for what I dumped. Okay. So that's all there is to this recipe. Unless you want it thinner, you can add water. And I do add just a touch of water. Is it still just a smidge? Well, actually, it's not bad. So I'm not going to add water to that. Because to me, that's just the right consistency. It's hard to see it, I know. But that's all there is to the recipe, guys. No silicone. No glue. You can add glue instead of the Liquitex pouring medium. Um, let's see, the milk paint um, is a little expensive, good to the last drop, right? And it will last you a long time because when you're doing those paintings, don't put it in your cup first because you'll end up with just all cloud effect. So make sure you get some color in the bottom of your cup because that milk paint loves to sink to the bottom. I'm not sure why. It must be the casein in here or something, one of the proteins or something in this paint that makes it sink to the bottom. But that's it. That's all there is to that recipe. Makes a nice size jug. These jugs you can get at Dollar Tree, two for a buck. That's what I mix all my paints in. And uh, happy pouring, right? <laughs> so thanks so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already click on that bell for notifications um, join our group on Facebook the Parage Pussy with Christina Welch and on there you'll be able to order my paints contact me at Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com 850 a bottle 850 a jar this jar will make two bottles of paint if it's mixed with my recipe so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.